So we got the tops out and sprocket, the girls in the back, and we're heading back to the Dade National Historic Battlefield. It's just a couple miles from here, and we were there not too long ago for the reenactment. And we're gonna go back and uh, explore some of the trails and uh, take the girls on a walk and get a little bit of footage of what it's like on a normal weekend day rather than a big event like the uh, like the battle reenactment. So it's three dollars to get in. Uh, sometimes it's attended, but I think on most regular days it's not attended at the guard station here. They've just got these little honor envelopes. And it's three dollars for a carload up to eight people. If you're on a motorcycle or a bicycle, I think they're they say two dollars per person pedestrian. So we just uh, paid our three bucks, so I'm gonna go in and check out the park. So here we are at the uh, Dade National Battlefield. We're gonna take the dogs on a trail and we've got Priscilla hooked up with the doggy cam. Put it on Presley earlier and she just wanted to climb under the table. She was so embarrassed, but Priscilla seems to like it. So as we came in, you saw, I think you saw the sign there to the ancient oak tree. We're assuming that's uh, what this is right here. It's pretty huge. Nobody here when we were here for the reenactment. Of course, this area was lots, there was lots of vendors. There was lots of character kind of theme players, and of course, there was the bleachers up here on the other side of this hill where they did the reenactment, and lots and lots of people.
I was about ready to hold it tight. <laughs> I was trying to re grip my grip. You know, after I did it. Uh, I hold it tight. I can tell you I'm on my way to a better place for both of us. Where we now That's what happens when you They say hold it tight and you pull before they confirm that they've got it tight. A whole roll? Don't keep that. Roll it back up. Nature trails have a nice cleared path. There you go, cleared. Good yeah, word. cleared path. But if you go back to when the uh, battle actually happened, pretty much the, the landscape would be completely different, right? So nobody would have cleared a path. You would have to clear the path as you go through a lot of this underbrush and uh, palms, heavy palms. So it would have been. Uh, a totally different landscape probably than what it is now but this gives you some idea what it might have been during the battle and these nature trails that we're walking here are beyond the area where they did the reenactment but the area where they do the reenactment is not the area where the actual uh, important parts are the tragic parts of the battle took place we'll be walking up on those here in just a minute
All right, so we're now we're on the actually other side of the park. This is where the actual battle occurred. There's a nice little trail here that walks and gives you some historical facts, uh, basically the information around who died where and what happened and what towns were how far from here during the time of the battle. Find it hard to know 